Hey guys, Anvi here. Today I'm here to tell you that perfectionism is a waste of time. Many think that perfectionism has to do with perfection. So, Miss Morales, what would you say is your worst flaw? Uh, well, okay, I have to admit that I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, yeah. It sounds fancy, but perfectionism is actually about insecurity and fear. Fear of rejection, of being out of control, of criticism, of what other people's opinion about you is gonna be. Doesn't sound so fancy anymore, does it? The useless search for perfection prevents us from making mistakes that we're actually supposed to make because that's how we learn and improve. Also, it sets us apart from other people because we appear to know what we're doing and to have everything figured out then other people appear to know what they're doing and to have everything figured out. And then we think, why does everybody have everything figured out except for me? And we isolate ourselves, not realizing that no one has a clue what the fuck they're doing. But we don't talk about these things, so then it becomes some sort of taboo and we don't want to appear vulnerable and they also don't so we think that they're not thinking what we're feeling and we compare everybody's outsides to our insides <laughs> they all seem so creative and funny what is wrong with me perfectionism is on an all-time high nowadays and yep you guessed it because of social media also bad parenting and setting unobtainable goals which are unattainable, but we think that that's the only way that we can compete in our society and our world which today is more competitive than ever. We see other people's highlights of their so-called perfect lives and we don't realize that what we're seeing is what they want to show us. In the same way that we only show people what we want them to see about us. We should just start a trend in which we just upload random mundane things so that we'll start showing people what our real life is like. I'm going to start setting a trend and I'm going to show you how I put my shoes on. Ta-da! So instead of saying I will put myself out there and I will improve along the way. We say, I'm gonna wait until I've learned everything that I have to learn, until I'm perfect, and then I will show the world how amazing I am. And I won't show them my real vulnerable self to anyone. Because if I do, they're just gonna criticize me. So if you're a perfectionist, you basically care too much about what people think about you. Look, don't get me wrong, I struggle with this too, and what has helped me a lot is to do the opposite of what my emotions want me to do. So yeah, I know, everyone is always telling you to follow your heart, but I'm here to tell you, don't. Your heart is going to make you make decisions that you actually don't want to make. You just want to make them in that moment because that's how you feel in that moment. So. If you make decisions based on something temporary, which is your emotions, you're going to be stuck with a decision that might be forever. Instead, follow your inner wisdom, your intuition, which is the perfect mix between what your heart says and what your mind says. Of course, getting in touch with your intuition is not an easy task, but instead of wasting your time with being a perfectionist, you can spend your time on getting in touch with your intuition. In her amazing book, Big Magic, Elizabeth Gilbert talks about how done is better than good. So for instance, if I'm writing a song and I have been sitting on that song for weeks or months because I always find something to improve on it, while improvement is good, it becomes something negative if it's stopping you from achieving a goal. So in this case, if it's stopping me from releasing my song, then it's just perfectionism, which is fear and insecurity. I think people are not gonna like my song. I think it's a bad song. And you know what? It might be a bad song, but I'll never know until I release it. How many great ideas have you let go of because you thought that somebody was going to reject them? How many books, poems, songs have you left unwritten or incomplete because they weren't done 
because you thought that somebody wasn't gonna like the idea. They were gonna think, that's stupid. I know I've been very guilty of that and in the past years I was super, super worried about other people's opinion of me to the point that sometimes even if their opinion was positive, I didn't believe it. And that's because I didn't realize that the most important opinion is the one that you have of yourself. If you don't believe that you're good enough, it doesn't matter how many people tell you that you're good, you're not gonna believe it. And this happens a lot with celebrities. So there's a lot of celebrities who are actually insecure. A lot of celebrities struggle with, um, with their emotions and many of them do drugs because of that. And it doesn't matter how many people are telling them that they're amazing. They just, they don't believe it because they don't think that they're amazing. At the end of the day, you have to understand that no matter what you do, nothing is going to be perfect because it's done by you. You're a human being. And to be honest, people are way too busy thinking about themselves and their own insecurities to be thinking about yours. So don't worry. Put yourself out there, dare to open up, be bold and stay true to what you believe in. What's the worst thing that can happen? Someone has a bad thought about you? Someone says something mean or leaves a bad comment? Okay, so they might and it will suck. But guess what? You're gonna get over it and you're gonna go on with your life and they're gonna go on with theirs. Something else that helps me a lot is knowing that my work is never 100% complete. It's only 70% complete. This helps me to take the pressure off that it's ever gonna be perfect. And if it's 70% complete, the other 30% is what I get in the feedback that I get from other people, or if I notice that there's something that can be improved. I work on it and hopefully I'm better the next time. With that said, it's still a work in progress and the important thing is to have clarity on what you want to work on. If you got this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Feel free to leave a comment or reach out on social media and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you next time. Mwah.